Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome 12 string guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I'm gonna show you this exclusive tuning. This is a G major 7 tuning, but in reality, it's a B minor tuning. Okay? And by exclusive, I mean that this tuning works a lot better on a 12 string than on a 6 string. I'm gonna show you why in a second, uh, but I don't really need to show you why. Okay, you, if you want, you can tune your 6 string to G major 7 and see for yourself that there's not much you can do with it. But on the 12 string, the G major 7 tuning or B minor tuning actually comes to life and it's just incredible. Okay, just listen to it even before we start. See? Can you hear the magic? You've never heard B minor in such a rich voicing, so sonically rich before, right? B minor usually sounds somber and very B minor-ish on guitar, but when you take a 12 string and tune it to G major 7, okay, let's tune the guitar. E becomes D, okay? The same goes for the bass string, okay? Both E's turn into D's. Now, the A string turns into G, okay? Tune it down to G. The D string, the fourth, remains D. The B string remains B. And the third string goes down from G to F sharp. Okay? Which creates the major seven sound. Okay? If you want to uh, test me out on this, put your finger on the first fret of the third string and look at a G major chord. Take it off, and you have G major 7. Now you can start out by just playing around with this. Okay, now if you put a finger on the first fret of the third string, you get G major, because the F sharp goes up to G again. Okay, so you can just play around with that and then take it off. Okay, and you can add one and zero on the second string for a sus4. Now, just play around with it. I I'm not doing anything special. It's all the 12 strings doing. Okay, all I'm doing is playing a couple of bass notes, and then I'm playing a couple of high notes. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Okay, the 12 string kind of throws you off because you have high notes along with the bass note. So. Okay, now if you want to play around a little bit, you can add two and four on the first string. Okay, just, you know, for a little bit of soloing in there. If you want B minor, you put four on the fifth string. Okay, and this becomes B minor. Now, the beauty of this is that you usually don't need a lot more than these two voicings. G major seven and B minor. And if you want, you can play G as well. Because all the major chords are barred with a finger above them on the third string. Okay. A, B, C, okay. And of course you can play them as major sevens. And major seven is a chord that moves around really, really well. You can move from any major seven chord to any major seven chord. But let's stay on B minor for a second. Okay, you can still play two and four. 
on the first frame along with it. Okay, you can also add four on the D string if you want. Now you can go to G and then turn it into G major 7. Okay, now you have 2 and 4 on the 5th and 6th strings as well. Okay? So you can start playing bass lines. Okay, any bass line would do. Just try to play a high note randomly after each line. And that way you utilize the 12 strings power. Okay, the music is all over the place. This is why if you play this on a 6 string it won't work as well. Okay, so let's try to find a really good connection between B minor and G major 7. Okay, you have B A, you have four two. Okay, you can go down. Okay, you can go, you can go chromatically. Okay, but I don't think it works here. So you can go from below. Okay, you can do four on the sixth string and then the G bass, the open fifth string. So you have. Okay, you have four two on the fifth string and then four on the sixth and then the open fifth. Okay, and utilizing this bass line, you can create amazing music. Okay, and then you can do anything to go back to B minor. Now, I also played seven. Okay, don't know why, my fingers just went there. Okay, now, now I know that 4 on the 2nd string doesn't work, so 3 will. Okay, but 3 is the same note as the 1st string, so I don't really need it. So, we'll remain with 2 on the 2nd string. Okay, you can do any combination of the notes on strings 1 and 2, as long as you have the bass note on. And then you can try it with G major 7 and see what you get. So, B, okay, B minor, and 4 and 2 on strings uh, 1 and 2, okay, or 2 and 0, or 0 and 2, okay, for a nice sinister sound. You can also have two and two. You see? Now take the finger off of the bass string. Okay? And you have a completely new harmony with the same notes. Ah, sorry. Now, if you want to change, you can just bar anywhere, okay? And by anywhere, I mean anywhere, okay? Anywhere. just randomly and all I'm doing is adding an extra note two frets above the bar because we have okay two and two okay so that's what I'm doing I'm just moving it up
it sounds complicated because it's a 12 string. Again, I'm only using one finger per chord. That's all I'm doing. Then I'm adding the same notes that I showed you. If you think that I'm doing anything more than that, you're wrong. All I'm doing is one finger per chord. Everything else is the 12 string sound. Okay, that's the magic of a 12 string. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.